Hey guys, it's just Gate Man here, and I am driving to my childhood house that I lived in for 22 years. Well, I moved out a little bit ago, um, back in I would say January, February. We sold the house and everything. They got a higher offer. My mom did. Uh, she got a higher offer than the house was actually actually worth, and I thought they were pretty much just buying it to flip it. And that's exactly what they did, actually. Um, they renovated it, they added two more bathrooms in there because it was originally like a one bath um, and a pretty tiny house. So they renovated it and it looks totally different from the Zillow pictures. This will be very interesting and it'll feel kind of weird to be in that house again um, with the renovations too. So yeah, we'll see, uh, we'll see if it looks any better. <laughs> I know it will, but I don't know. I'm just uh, a little nervous, um, but we'll see when we get there. And also, this is the house that I did all my, or most of my YouTube videos from. Uh, all of my skating videos were there. All of my fingerboarding videos were there. It's just like such a nostalgic feeling, like going back into those videos and seeing that, that house. I don't really feel as sad as I would if I didn't have like a plan because I've already moved out and, you know, into a good good house. So leaving that house was not really of a big, like, sad moment. Although I do miss it. Um, I just got to, you know, move on and have new chapters in my life. Um, and being able to go back to the house one more time before someone else buys it uh, is a pretty good feeling. So especially, like, I'm really excited to see the renovations that they did too because uh, there's a couple places that I didn't think were uh, repairable <laughs> but I mean from the pictures it looks like a brand new house so uh, we'll we'll see we'll see um, I will be filming in there and uh, hopefully I'll get some space to actually film some stuff so we'll go there and we'll see what what happens oh my god Oh, that, that used to be the little dog yard. And now it's a uh, porch with a fence and all that stuff. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wow, the garage looks so good too. Holy shit. That thing was falling apart. <laughs> the trees, everything, at least this tree, and the other ones look good too. <laughs> this little front porch looks good. <laughs> this is the whole workshop area too. Wow. I never knew there were steps here, unless there wasn't. I think these are new, but back shed area. Wow, I did a whole little skate session in here too. <laughs> and then this garage, totally reworked. And this is still the same. <laughs> That's funny, they didn't even touch this room. Jesus. Yep, and that was my room. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this kitchen is amazing. And they added a little door here, too. Oh. Huh. Yeah. I know, dude. Wow. Did it have this uh, discounting? Stairwell looks so good. Yeah, I know, still steep. <laughs> They're steep. Other part of my room. This is the little half porch area. That's pretty stuff. Ooh. That's a nice closet area. There's a big box in there. Oh, wow. Wow. This was uh, the, the guest room. We would put all our uh, other tenants here. This is still the same old attic, but they put plywood over it. And the huge, <laughs> huge uh, central AC piping here. Wow. This used to be all just one room and now it's 
a half bathroom with it. Well, it's a full bathroom with a shower it's and two full bathrooms. Wow. Okay. Damn. Okay. And then yeah, that that's insane. Oh, and they kept this. Uh, th this was blocked off for such a long time too. That's and now they. That was your closet. Yeah, little closet area. Yep. Wow. Yeah, exactly. So this was our old, old room with a bunk bed right here. And, but still, yeah, this is a good little closet area. There was like a little, there was a chimney point right here. Or unless this was, where was the chimney? <laughs> I thought this was, came up, yeah. You're right, where is the chimney? <laughs> Wow, and yeah, this this was our favorite part of the uh, the house too. That looks so cool. This balcony is actually standable. You know, <laughs> you can actually stand on the balcony, and it feels pretty tough too. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Instead of risking your life. <laughs> wow, that the tin on that shed. This is a wow. nice little uh, porch now. I know. This garden bed looks good. Oh, they took out the uh, they they took out the little rose bush that was right here too. There is a rose bush right there. So is that just like a like a toy house? There was like a brick fireplace right here, and a working stove fireplace too. Like we would we would actually burn wood right here on a wood stove, but now it's a just a flat wall. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Our little thing, the little front porch. I would ollie over that little crack all the time, and they still have it there. And that's funny. But yeah. All right. Well, there you go. That was the house tour of my old house that I used to live in for about 22 years. Um, it was good to step on that property one last time um, until a new family buys it, but. I think it'll be uh, it'll be pretty good because um, it, it's funny the uh, the bathroom area uh, upstairs was pretty cool to see because uh, it used to be just one hallway and the hallway was the bathroom. Uh, you had to get through the bathroom to go in the other room upstairs, the back room upstairs, and now they kind of section that off, put a mini hallway in the middle of it, and then two bathrooms on each side with the washer and dryer. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I've never really seen a house like that, kind of two mirroring uh, bathrooms. I, I think the chimney was just on the outside and we just had inside access because there was a wood stove that we used uh, when I was little. Um, so I guess that was just a extra access to the inside the chimney. So they blocked that off completely now. So yeah. it, it looks like a modern house now. So I don't know, it, it, it feels a little weird, but it's a good weird. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I will look back through the footage and maybe add some comments at the end of this video uh, of what I think too, because I didn't really talk that much, but I, I talked a good amount in that video. So I'm gonna just have to watch over the footage and add little comments here and there, so. Yeah, so one little part that I didn't talk on much was in the living room, uh, the little closet bathroom thing, it wasn't closet, it was just a straight wall. Uh, but on the other side in my room it was just like a little broom closet and pretty much the Harry Potter bought a uh, bedroom suite <laughs> a shelf or two and then um, On the top side it was like wooden and you could you could pretty much see through the uh, the stairs and stuff uh, but now they closed that part off and then added a uh, bathroom on the other side like in the in the living room area so I mean it looks good it looks good. I wish we had three bathrooms when I was living there. That would be nice, but oh well. Uh, now there is. So with the attic, uh, I said it was the same old attic, but it really wasn't. Just the top section, and they put some plywood over the, the wooden boards that were there. Uh, the wooden boards were in okay shape. They weren't in the best shape, but they were in okay shape. Um, and then the stairs were just like wooden planks. So I guess they cover that up with the linoleum or whatever they whatever they use for the stairs. The balcony. So the balcony looks a lot better. It was so sketchy because we would only store our uh, window AC units out there, 
and we would have to pretty much tiptoe and just walk in certain spots. Uh, the the balcony was not the best for going out. Um, to get out there uh, from the bedroom, it was a old wooden door and it was like kind of creaky and it didn't shut very properly. There was like an old, old school box lock on there. So it's just a light little door now. So that's, it's crazy. Yeah, the railing was an old metal railing and uh, we had some renovations done like many, many years ago and uh, there were wooden boards placed on top of the metal railing, but it still was just sketchy. Uh, behind the shed area was just an open uh, doorway. It wasn't closed off like it was. And then on the other side of that shed was a uh, another little mini wood shed that we would keep our lawn mowers in and extra furniture and stuff. And uh, we got that removed a couple years ago actually, because it was falling apart. But other than that, uh, the yard is very open. There's a butterfly tree bush <laughs> kind of growing back. That's always grown back. There's like a giant root under it. So uh, I do have footage of this uh, exact place with the, uh, the little front porch. Um, there would be the uh, bench underneath the window AC unit. And uh, that would kind of block my way. So I couldn't really like roll up and ollie over the crack or I'd put my grind rail there to ollie over too. I didn't have much space, but I did have space to skate over it. So it looks very open now. So yeah, I think uh, that's pretty much the last thing I want to talk about. So yeah, uh, subscribe to join the skate crew and I will see you guys later.